Hi Libras, this is Shooting Stars Tarot. Welcome to your May uh, love reading for 2016. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for Libras regarding their love life in May 2016? What are the messages that you have for Libras love life in May? Any messages or guidance that you have for Libras in May regarding their love life? Wow, Libras, you have so many major arcana. One, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas. Oh, wow, let me see. Well, coming from April, you're you have recently or in the are right now in the process of taking some solitude uh being in solitude taking some time to really sort out your thoughts uh and that's clearly also shown here the card that's crossing your primary card for the month um your primary card for the month is the two of pentacles and this is a uh you're juggling a lot, Libra. You are very busy. Uh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of social activity. Um, you may be, de be deciding between two people. Um, and uh, it's kind of taking the wind out of you a little bit because what's crossing you is the Four of Swords. And this is a card of reflection and rest and uh, a solitude mental solitude so you need to just be with your thoughts and sort things out like i knew like i know that uh, air signs do so you're doing that now and you have been doing that so i don't see this as being anything uh sad with respect to relationships you're just very busy you're very social and uh if you are dating uh, a lot of if you're dating and out meeting people trying to find a new love um, it can be exhausting, although Libras, you're so, you are so social and you're so, uh, good with people and reading situations, but it does take a lot out of you because in order to be that way, you have to give that way and it, it can be exhausting. So you go through periods of being very social and very communicative and very love and warming and giving, and then you kind of retreat a little bit and pull back to kind of hone in your energy again and get, and, uh, you know, recharge. And so I see that that is what you're doing. Now, if you're in an established bond, um, 
things are going very well. I mean, even if you're dating or you just started dating somebody, things are going well. You're very happy. There's a lot going on. And uh, if you're trying to choose between a couple that are kind of coming into your realm, um, and that can take a lot out of you because you definitely don't want to hurt anybody, but you always do what's best for you. And uh, especially with respect to love. I mean, you're good at finding what you want and then getting it. And uh, uh, so it can be tough. You're just resting right, right now. Um, yeah, and if you're in an established bond, I mean, everything's great. You're happy. There's... You're content. There's lots of giving. Uh, and you're viewing each other well. And look at your outcome. I mean, it's the em Empress. So uh, this, first of all, let me, the Page of Swords. So this is what's grounding your situation. This is uh, a card of preparedness and ready for whatever life is going to be giving you, whatever ready for whatever love life is going to be able to give you, this is definitely you. The, the, both of these cards, they're swords. This is definitely you. Um, you're armed. You're prepared. You're healthy. You're standing on top of the hill, overlooking and overseeing everything. Your head is high up into the clouds, and you're kind of overlooking everything and assessing um, but if anything comes comes to you and at you, you're prepared to handle it. And that's that's what you're doing here also with this uh, rest, time of rest, is you're getting into this space, okay? And get ready because there's a lot. There has been a lot. Okay, so what is crowning your... What's crowning you is the temperance card. And the temperance card is really a card of uh, feeling fulfilled and uh, it's a card of balance. So as you can see, um, she's standing with one foot on the ground, one foot in the water, so being very fulfilled and connected. And her cups are full. There's a beautiful countryside behind her. There's uh, the wings I always attribute to uh, communication and messages. And, and for you, Libra, it's pulling in kind of the divine energy to you, okay? Um, it's also, it's a card of management too. So that's what you're doing here with this rest is there's been a lot going on. You've been juggling so much and so many people and so many outings and experiences that you're just resting because you're managing your your general energy you're pulling in and you're managing it it's a card of uh moderation too so you're kind of just scaling it back a little bit so so you don't um get sick or anything because you've been out and about too much you're taking care of yourself just like i said which you're very good at doing uh now what's in your near future is the knight of cups this is a um it's a messenger card kind of like the page um, but it's like something's arriving something's approaching you and some there's gonna be some propositions so this could be uh, so here we are again with the wings but this could very well be a water type of energy coming into your life and offering you all their love and support um, they're gonna be very uh, fast approaching not fast like the Knight of Wands but fast in very sturdy with their communication they're going to say I want to be in your life and I am offering this to you and I want to go on this journey to you it could be not like a marriage proposal but they're going to be definitely um, making it very obvious to you that they want to be around okay they're very mature in their demeanor and uh, very enticing in how they communicate with you so this could very well be a water energy that's coming into your life um, and I say that not only just because it's cups, but because we do see a lot of water here. There's water here, water, water, water. And so, it, you know, there's just, they, they may be very forthcoming with what they want and how they see you. Okay. Now, how you're viewing the situation and them is the star. 
This is a card of, uh, it's kind of like a wish, wishes, wishes being fulfilled. So you see a lot of potential here. You see a, a lot of excitement with this person and uh, a lot of experiences. And uh, it's a very hopeful and like promising card for the future. So you're looking at them and or, or anybody else that's in your periphery if you're just dating. Um, and, and if you're in a committed bond, you're looking at them with a lot of hope and a lot of promise. And they're looking at you as a very spiritual being that they want around. They, they just really enjoy you. And they are, they're actually taking you very seriously because the Hierophant in a reading can really mean uh, a marriage is upon us. So they could be proposing something to you. And, and if you're in a committed bond and they want to take it to the next level and deepen the commitment, they could, there could be a proposal. There could be a wedding. Uh, you know, they could be looking at you in the long term and really want you around. This is a very good card for service and goodness. Um, and they're looking at you. You're looking at it as a full of hope. And they're looking at you as uh, the person that they definitely want to be around. So... Take them seriously and be prepared for it because if they are really being serious about this and it looks like they are, uh, they're going to take you very seriously and you need to be prepared for it. But I know you will be because I'm not worried about that. And then your hopes and fears are... This is a card of very uh, swift action and... Uh, taking charge, taking the reins, and going someplace. And so I think this is your hopes and fears. Um, I think you might, it can also be a card of war and trouble. And I think you're afraid uh, to maybe go down that path a little bit. Because one, I don't know that you feel that you're ready. Um, and two, you definitely don't want to be hurt. But three, if, it's, if you're looking at this card from the positive standpoint, in the hope standpoint, you're afraid that um, this person... Uh, is going to, especially if this is a water sign, you're afraid that they're going to want you to be leading um, and you don't want that. Um, you're good at it and they will, especially if this is like a Pisces, um, they're going to be kind of wanting to follow your lead, but I think you want to be, especially if you're a girl, you want to be following their lead. So there could be a little disconnect there. You're afraid of that, um, but don't be. Don't be. Um, uh, there's just, you have to take the reins in the sense that you need to be ready and decide that you're ready to get into something serious or really deepen a connection because they are looking at it like from that standpoint. Okay. And then here we go with the Empress. This is a card of, uh, it's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful card to have in the outcome because it's leaving things open. Um, it's a card of, it's a divine energy and one that means a lot of growth and, uh, but it also is a card of the unknown. And so there's not been not enough time passed to really decide what's going to happen with this. We can only look at what people are wanting to do, but we don't really have an outcome yet. Um, it is definitely a card of light and truth. Um, it can be a card of ignorance and doubt and uh, I think you're not wanting that uh, you're maybe a little bit of afraid of that and so you're going to take your time and really listen to what these guys have to say what this person has to say in your near future because you don't want to have uh, troubles and you don't want to have doubt and this person uh, if they really are a water sign they're or have a lot of water tendencies and energies they're going to be very clear in how they communicate uh, but you just really need to watch because sometimes they'll say things, uh, they say the right things in the right moments to get the outcome that they're wanting. Not in a form of manipulation so much, but it's just in a form of they're really good at that. Um, and so you're, you're going to be kind of listening to them and uh, really assessing the truth behind, behind it. And so take your time. Take your time. Don't I think you're not wanting to rush into anything and I think that that's very good. Um, but they're very serious right now, at least in the beginning, they're very serious. They're taking you very seriously and they want you around. So you're taking care of yourself. 
There's definitely someone coming in. They're going to be making some advances. And so, and you're ready. You're, you're wanting that and hopeful for that. You just want it to be from a very sincere place. All right. Is there anything else I want to say? I think that's it. All right, Libra. Well, let's look at the Oracle cards for May. See if they can give any sort of additional advice or messages. There's so many beautiful cards in this Oracle deck and uh, this, this in May I've been full, pulling a lot of the like woodland fairy ones and so they kind of seem all dark and dreary, uh, but they're not. It's just funny because it's just kind of a consistent theme in May. All right, this card is called the Habya. It's imaginary fears, unreal hazards, and realistic caution. He says, it is time to look for the truth behind our fears. To distinguish between what is real and what is just our projection of old traumas and fears into our imaginary future. By delving into our old, our old patterns, we can see past them to a more liberating life. Only by facing the fears honestly and seeing them for what they are, do we actually gain greater ability to open our hearts to, to the Singer of Courage, which is another card and gain the strength to face the really difficult challenges in our lives. Each false fear confronted with and uh, confronted and resolved makes us much stronger. So each false fear confronted and resolved makes us stronger. Yeah, I think exactly it's it's exactly what I said. Uh, watch the messages and really understand what they're coming coming to you with. Give it time to develop and watch their actions, um, but not so much on that level because that's kind of a negative connotation. But I just think go through this and recharge your battery so you're actually really ready um, to be in a very perfect, positive place to accept this love that's going to be uh, presented to you because they're very serious about you. All right. All right, Libra, well, thank you so much. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at shootingstarstarot at gmail.com. And please like, share, and subscribe because I'm like, share, and subscribe because I'm having so much fun uh, doing these readings. It is very rewarding uh, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Um, and it's uh, actually early April right now when I'm recording these because I want to, I'm just so excited. I wanted to do more. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and that is your May, Libra. Thank you.